Hey friends, we are back from New York. We are so pumped because we got to go to the Statue of Liberty, the Empire State Building. It was awesome. It was awesome. Um, Roy Lichtenstein lived in New York. He was born and lived in New York for a long time. Uh, and he was born to a Jewish household. He was a painter and he is what we call the founder of the pop art movement. And the pop art movement uses very bold colors um, lots of heavy outlines and something called bende dots. And bende dots look like um, very small fine dots that repeat themselves like a pattern um, on an image or an artwork that creates the sense of illusion that it was printed. It wasn't painted on, it wasn't colored on, um, it wasn't sketched on, that it actually came from a printer. Uh, and that's what he wanted to accomplish. And in the 1950s, when commercial advertising was everywhere, yeah, everywhere, <laughs> yeah, he used this to his advantage. Today, you're going to have a choice. You can either do choice one or choice two, or you can do both. Um, our first one is going to be a version of Roy Lichtenstein's Still Life, 1972, or if you so choose, a version of Roy Lichtenstein's Pop Art. Get it? Pop Art. All right, friends, I will see you on the drawing board. All right, friends, today we're going to do our version of Roy Lichtenstein's Still Life 1972. And we are going to need a blank sheet of paper, an eraser, or pencil, a black marker to outline. If you don't have a black marker, make sure you get hold of a black color pencil or a black crayon or a regular black marker would work and something to give us some color. You don't have to follow the exact same colors I'm working with, um, but I would love for you to have some sort of color somewhere. We can use crayons, markers, or color pencils today. I'm going to be doing a lot of erasing before I outline, and this will help you understand how things sit in a bowl. Uh, we're gonna do our fruits. So the first thing I want to do is create our bowl, and I'm gonna press a little bit darker, but I don't want you to press as dark when you are doing your drawing because you're going to have to be doing some erasing. So go ahead and put a curve line somewhere on the middle of your page. And this curve line is going to be the start of our bowl. And now here's the rest of our bowl. So this is going to go all the way down to the bottom and curve back. And our bowl has this really cool lining or an edge. So you have two diagonal lines going away from each other. And then you create a line that looks parallel to this, the bottom of your bowl. We've discussed that word parallel quite a few times in a few lessons. Okay, and now we'll do our apple. So our first shape, our first fruit is gonna be an apple and I wanna create the apple sitting this way. And part of the apple is going to look like it disappeared because it's actually sitting inside of the bowl. So I did a line that looks like that and then a line that looks like that. And this curve right here, that's just the illusion. There's nothing to it. And we have our stem. When I outline with the marker, you'll actually see it a lot better, okay? And let's go ahead and add in our grapes. So I like to start off in the middle. So our grapes are not actually circled. They're more like a, an oval or an egg shape, if you will. And when we have one grape, then we can start adding in the other. So now see my grape looks like it disappeared. Didn't actually disappear. You ever see a bunch of grapes? They don't actually line up like you're counting. They're, they're in a bunch. So they will do some funny things that look like they disappeared. So this one is going to go over my bowl so when i outline I'm, you're not going to see this line that runs through okay i'm just going to leave it there for now i'm just drawing my grapes let's add a few more grapes and now it's going to start spilling over my bowl don't worry about that just yet. When we outline, everything is going to make sense. 
there it looks like it went through the bowl again, okay? Okay, and I think I want some grapes maybe at the bottom here. So one, two, and then see, we're gonna have to erase some of these lines, okay? And these grapes are on a little bunch right there. Okay, and to seal this, so there, I have a little bit of a space right here. I can either add more grapes so that I create no space, or I can create a line that looks like the back of my bowl. So this line here that you have for the front of your bowl, you want to flip it so that it does this. So it's the line that disappeared behind your fruits. Okay? And let's go ahead and put in our table. So our table looks like it went through the bowl. So now our bowl is sitting on a table. And I want some curtains here. Let's just do some lines for some drapes in the background. Let's outline first. I'm going to do that for my bowl. Notice I stopped when I reached to the grapes because I want to make sure I don't go through my grapes. Okay, let's go ahead and add the line in the back. And our apple, we can outline our apple. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and add in the grapes. We're going to outline the grapes so that way we can erase what we need to, okay? So, because these grapes that are sitting in front of the bowl, they don't need lines from the bowl. Okay, and now I'm going to erase those lines that are in between. And let's do the same to the grapes that are in the bowl. So I'm just tracing or outlining my grapes again. Just working on my grapes, nothing else. Okay, and now I'm not gonna cut, I still have some lines from the bowl that look like they went through my fruit, my grapes. Make sure you don't draw those lines in. You're only drawing the lines that you can see that, are, that is your bowl. And now I'm going to erase those lines that go through my grapes so I don't get confused. And my table. And my curtain. And we are ready for color. And one very special thing that Roy Lichtenstein did was he used something called Band-Aid dots. And Band-Aid dots are used to create the illusion that it was printed, that he did not um, draw it, he did not paint it, um, that they look painted. So I'm going to go ahead and use this. And just so that I have some dots, my dots are going to look about the same size all the way through. I'm fruit bowl white with some red dots. And to create these dots is actually called a technique called stippling. And stippling is creating many, many dots to create the look of an object or something. In this case, it's just going to be helping with the color of my bowl. And I want a yellow apple today. Let's add some, looks like blue grapes, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. 
And I'm going to show you a neat trick when we're done. Because they're grapes and it's really hard to tell since they're all bunched up, um, I'm going to show you how to create the illusion that there's reflection, that there's light bouncing off of your grapes. And let's do that now. So get a white color pencil or a white crayon. And then some of your grapes, you just add a little bit of, just color a little spot. You want to color them so that they look like the light is coming from one part of the room, like there's light shining from this way, this direction. So your lines are all going to face it's going to be on the left side of your grape. Okay, and the same with the ones that are sitting outside of your bowl. Awesome. Okay, and now we're going to fill in our curtain and our background. Um, we're going to create a very dark background. So I'm actually going to use my crayons instead of my Sharpie to fill in my background. I'm gonna pause right here. If I keep going with my black, you won't see my apple um, stem. So I'm just gonna carefully outline my apple stem with a little white, just so when I do this part, you can still see that the apple stem is still there. Okay. And we're going to add in a yellow curtain. Fill in the inside of our bowl black. All right, friends, there we have it. Our version of Roy Lichtenstein's Still Life, 1972. That was so much fun. Both of them are like really super awesome. Um, Roy Lichtenstein's Still Life 1972, super cool, super simple, super awesome. Or Roy Lichtenstein's Pop Art, get it, Pop Art. I can't wait to see these. Remember, Roy Lichtenstein was an artist born in New York to a Jewish household. Um, he spent his whole life in New York, practically. Um, he was a painter and he was also the founder of what we call the Pop Art Movement. Uh, he found his inspiration reading Jewish comic book heroes and bubblegum rappers. Um, and his signature move and his signature characteristic in his artwork is using something called bende dots. 
Um, and it's just little dots, little tiny dot, 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 dots over and over, kind of like a pattern. Yeah, um, and this was to create the illusion that his artwork was printed and not painted or uh, colored or sketched. Um, and he used this really um, to his advantage in the 1950s when commercial advertising was everywhere, everywhere. Everywhere. All right, friends, I had an amazing time with you. You guys stay safe, and I will see you next week. Bye.